everyone and thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. So first things first, um, I just need to apologize for the state of my voice right now. I have a really bad cold um, and I'm actually home from work today so I figured uh, what better way to pass the time than to create this little tutorial for you guys. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it. So if you enjoy painting, it can get kind of expensive. You know, you're buying your paints, you're buying your mediums, buying your canvases and all these other things. Um, and sometimes it can become really difficult to practice painting. I remember when I first started using oil paints, I was just looking up all these things about how to inexpensively practice. And I was surprised at how challenging it was to find an inexpensive way to practice. Um, I had all these forums saying, oh, you can buy like canvas pads, you can buy just really small canvases. But to me, that just felt incredibly wasteful. But after a bit of research, I finally found a much more economically friendly way to practice oil painting, and that is by using paper. So in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to prep paper for oil painting, and it's really, really simple and very, very inexpensive. Okay, so first things first, let's just talk about the supplies that you're going to need, and all of them are very inexpensive. Um, the first thing that you're going to need is some kind of mixed media paper. Um, this is a mixed media um, sketchbook from Strathmore, and I'll leave a link to that down in the description below. And that's where I've been doing my um, art journal pieces in. Um, this paper has worked really, really well for me. It's very, very sturdy, um, and I've had no issues with it whatsoever in terms of the quality. And again, it's very inexpensive. Um, the second thing that you're going to need is some acrylic gesso. Again, very inexpensive. You can find this. Um, at Michael's, you can find it at Hobby Lobby, you can find it on Amazon. This one was only $7 and with the Michael's 20% off coupon, I think it only ended up being like $5. Um, the next thing that you're going to need is some kind of non-stick paper. And this is to help prevent the pages from sticking together in your sketchbook if you're using a sketchbook. Um, I'm using parchment paper, you can also use wax paper. Um, just some kind of non-stick surface that you would put between the page and I'll show you how to do that later. And the last thing that you are going to need is some kind of card. It could either be an old credit card or a gym membership card, um, hopefully one that you're not using anymore. Um, and again, very inexpensive, probably in this case free if you have an old credit card or an old gift card laying around the house. All right, so now that I have explained all the materials, let's just go ahead and jump right into this. Again, this is very, very easy. So first thing you wanna do is just wanna flip to the page that you want to use. So let's just... Um, I'm just going to fold this in half a bit, and just um, just in an attempt to make it lay a bit more flat. So I prefer to have them lay a little bit flat. Just like so. Um, and then you need to take your parchment paper, wax paper, whichever one that you want to use. And then stick it in between um, the pages, just like this. Just make sure that um, the next page is entirely covered. Again, you really don't want the pages to stick together. It's really hard to get them apart if they end up sticking together. All right, and the next step is to take our gesso. Da -da -da. Open it up. And then you wanna take your card and scoop a relatively generous amount on there. And what I'm going to do real quick, um, you don't need to do this for when you prep your page. I'm just going to do this for a bit of, um, I'm trying to find the right word, so that you can just see where I'm putting the gesso. I'm just going to put a little bit of black gesso in there. You don't need to do this. Um, this is just so you guys can see the difference between the paper and the gesso. All right, just kind of mix it up a little bit. Just get that little tint. Oh, let me add a little bit more. I just want to make sure that you guys can see this. A little bit more. There we go, that's better. And on that, mix it all. There we go. Now you can now you can see the difference. Okay. And so now what you want to do is you want to take your card and start spreading the gesso around a bit. You don't want it to be too thick. Um, I mean gesso dries pretty quickly. Um, but you still don't want it to be a super thick layer of gesso. You want to try to spread it out until it cannot spread anymore. And so right here you're seeing the importance of the um, non-stick paper. 
so that way it doesn't make a mess and um, you don't need to worry about your page sticking together. So I'm starting to run out of it here, so I'll just scoop out a little bit more. I'm just gonna apply it to the parts that are a little bit uh, sparse. So a little bit at the top, a little bit at the bottom. All right, that should be good. And so what I like to do is I like to work from the middle of the sketchbook um, outward. Um, because this is the middle of the sketchbook, like right where the binding is, it's a lot more easier for gesso to kind of pool there. And I have found that with working with paper and uh, prepping with gesso, is that I often leave the very edges of the paper uncovered. And so sometimes when I'm painting, I, I start to notice that um, paint is starting to seep through the edges of my paper. So this is just to make sure that all areas are very evenly covered. And you could also, you don't have to just do this for oil painting. If you're um, starting to learn how to do art journaling um, or if you want to practice with acrylics, um, this is a perfectly acceptable way to prep your paper as well. Like I said, it's very easy, very inexpensive, um, and it saves you a lot of money from buying canvases or canvas pads. Like that was one piece of advice that I found was to use a canvas pad. And I think it had maybe 10 sheets of canvas in there and it cost like $20. So um, I'm sure you all can agree that sometimes painting can be an incredibly expensive hobby. Okay, so I think we're almost covered here. Just a couple little spots. It's usually the edges of the paper that require the most touching up, like that bottom left or sorry, that bottom right corner there. And also the reason why I use a card to do this instead of a brush is because again, uh, gesso dries very, very quickly and it will ruin your brush. Unless you wash it immediately after you're done using gesso with it, I can almost guarantee that you're gonna have to throw it out. So if you have a lot of nice expensive brushes and you don't wanna ruin them, then you are so much better off using this method. And by the way, leave a comment down below if you find that drawing or painting makes you feel better when you're sick, because I know for sure it does for me. I feel like for some reason I make my best art when I'm sick. I don't, I don't know why, but I just do. <laughs> All right, and I think we're almost covered. Let's see here. Just the top edge just needs a little bit more, just right up here. So our paper is just about ready to be painted on. I think it just needs a couple more minutes to dry. It still looks a little bit shiny when I move it around like this. Um, but that is all there is to it. And once it's completely dry, you are free to use oil paint, acrylic paint, any kind of paint on this page without it seep, uh, seeping through and sticking to your other pages. And again, it's just another great economical solution if you're looking to practice painting without having to buy a bunch of canvas or buy a bunch of wood panels um, and without worry of wasting money, wasting supplies or anything like that. And so with that, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that you guys found it helpful. Um, and again, I apologize for the state of my voice. Hopefully in the next video, um, I should be back to my normal annoying squeaky voice. Now it's just a very nasal squeaky annoying voice. So um, with that, if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up so I know to keep making more videos like this in the future. And please make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell icon to get notifications. And uh, you'll be able to see some more exciting art videos in the future. So with that, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.